Andy Monica, that's for sure. You can definitely feel this is going to be a bit of a somber occasion here tonight at SAC 1 for America's and Franklin's competition. Now, like you mentioned, this is going to be the very first time the Cougars are taking to the field without Emmanuel, just him passing away only five short days ago. We were able to catch up with head coach Darren Walker earlier today, and he, he was telling us that that's possibly one of the hardest parts about this whole situation, having to go through your day-to-day -day activities as if there isn't a huge hole within their program. He was telling us if you knew Emmanuel, it was to love him. He had a great personality, a great sense of humor, as well as a beautiful smile. So they're definitely feeling his absence in the locker room. That did, ca did cause them to take some time off earlier this week in terms of preparation that has led us to here tonight. The Cougars dedicating everything they do out there on the field in honor of Emmanuel. Yeah, that's the most difficult part is, is you got to go on, you know, the sun comes up the next day and, and we got jobs to do and it, it's just tough and uh, you know, we have to have enough time to uh, mourn and, and reflect and uh, you understand a little bit about this type of situation. And, but when it hits home, it's, it's a little bit more of a challenge. You know, we just shut down for 48 hours and, as a program and, and, and got our priorities straight again. And I believe our kids are going to come out and play hard and, and give great effort. Uh, Emmanuel will always be with us in, in our hearts and in our minds. And, and play like he would play and go out there and leave it all in the field. Now we are just over an hour away from kickoff here tonight. Fans, friends, family beginning to roll in here with really touching signs honoring Emmanuel and just paying tribute to a life loss way too soon. The teams are going to honor him tonight with a moment of silence before kickoff as well as once the game wrap. Both teams are going to meet out on the 50 yard line and come together in prayer. Reporting live from SAC 1, Kelly Harzen, KTSM 9 News.